What's up, what's up? It's your boy JC coming at you again from Bangkok, Thailand. Welcome back to Thailand Inner Circle. What's going on, brothers? And you few sisters watching. A couple things before I get into today to the before I get into today's topic, which is should you get a scooter while you're here? There are a bunch of different things that go into that. So I'm gonna run through that so you can make a, an informed decision for yourself. Uh, but before I do that, you want to support the channel and you're serious about coming here, join the private Telegram group. If you just want to make a one-time donation, it's appreciated and needed. That's how I pay the bills. And uh, yeah, it costs a lot of money to be out here over a course of time because pounding all these streets and all these bars ain't free. All right, so let's get into it. Should you get a scooter? This question comes up a lot. Uh, I have had scooters here in Bangkok, Hua Hin. Never felt like I needed one in Pattaya. Uh, didn't, didn't feel the need for one in Chiang Mai or Phuket. Largely because everything I wanted to do was within walking distance or in the case of Pattaya, I was close to the bot bus just pop out there and grab a bot bus, no big deal. Uh, so the first question you need to ask yourself is, is it necessary? Do you really need it? Are you staying somewhere that puts you close enough to public transportation, you know, that would negate the necessity for it? Second question, are you experienced riding a motorcycle or a scooter in traffic? And when I say traffic, I'm talking Bangkok traffic is heavy and thick. And yeah, I got a lot of experience on motorcycles. I felt completely comfortable. I got a couple friends here that have scooters here in town. They've got a lot of motorcycle experience. They're very comfortable. Uh, but if you're coming here to Bangkok or Pattaya and you've never been on a motorcycle, the last time you were on two wheels was a bicycle at 10 or 12. Yeah, you might, you might want to rethink that. Um, it's a very scooter-centric culture. But again, for those of you who don't know, uh, Thailand is one of the most dangerous places to drive in the world. And scooter deaths top the list of vehicular, vehicular deaths and accidents. Um, and there's a reason for that. Largely because people do stupid shit. They don't know what they're doing. They get out there on a scooter and they make a lot of mistakes. Second is the road conditions aren't always friendly. Sometimes there's potholes, stuff in the road, cars merging without looking. I saw a delivery guy get smacked by a car making a U-turn a couple weeks ago. This guy is hella experienced. And some dummy in a car wasn't paying attention, smacked the, just smacked him. This dude was badass. He got right up, no real damage to his ride, and he kept going. But that's the thing. There are a lot of, a lot of serious accidents and a lot of fatalities, and there's a lot of them that occur among foreigners here, whether you're here on holiday or living long term. People do dumb shit that they shouldn't be doing, like riding against the traffic in the middle of the night. They don't know. They see other people doing it. They see Thai people doing it. They don't realize these people have been riding that road for 20 years, 10 years. They're down there all the time. They know what they're doing. When we say that a lot of Thai people are born and raised on a scooter, that's not a joke. There's, there's people with infants on their scooters, small children, toddlers. It's not unusual. It's not unusual to see a, a bunch of youths, 10, 12, three, four, five of them piled on a scooter because they've been driving. So if you're in a place like Hua Hin, well, hang on a second here. That 
I was loud. Um, when I lived in Hua Hin, I lived just away from the main street and it was uh, super inconvenient to try to get a grab or there was no bot buses over there in that area. Uh, and I knew this before I moved down there. So I went ahead and my first day there, I had a scooter delivered and uh, it was super helpful. Allowed me to get out, get around, explore, and just made it super easy. <laughs> and if you got the experience, you know, then, then that's, that's a great option for you. Um, if you don't have the experience, Hua Hin is probably one of the friendliest areas for you to get adjusted. If you don't have the experience and you think you're just going to hop on a scooter here in Bangkok and that everything's going to be honky dory, same thing in Pattaya, nay sir, nay. Bad decision in my opinion, like real bad decision. Again, a lot of the accidents that you see foreigners involved in, it's their own fault. They don't have experience or they're doing dumb shit. And uh, yeah, a scooter ain't a car. You know, you have a little accident at 35, you may, you may not walk away from that. I know 35 seems slow when you're in a car, but when you got nothing around you, and you get thrown off at 35, or you get side swiped, you run yourself off into a ditch, you run head on to, to a pole. Yeah, man, it's fatal. If you know what you're doing, a scooter can be an amazing, amazing tool to have. I've been here for several years, and I don't have a scooter anymore. I found that uh, being single, no girlfriend, that uh, when I had a girlfriend, we were going a lot of places way off the beaten path. And that was cool, it was great for that. But I found over the last couple years, I don't need it. I can, get, I can get the train to any major area, and then I can hoof it, I can take a bus, or I can grab a taxi or a motorcycle taxi as we do sometimes. And uh, yeah, it's just way more convenient. I got rid of my scooter after just sat there collecting dust for a month. So I just want you guys to be safe, man. And people make a bad decision in this area and they end up, some, sometimes they end up not being with us anymore. So if you wanna join the private telegram group, we got over 70 dudes in there. Great bunch of guys. All of them are about being here or traveling here multiple times a year. So you want a new circle of friends when you come here, whether you're experienced or not. Yeah, think about doing that. Uh, and support the channel, man. I'm not e-begging, but fuck. YouTube don't pay shit. They suppress my videos on a regular basis. They demonetize them before they even come out. They demonetize, demonetize the live streams before they even air. And uh, yeah, once they've done that, it's like shadow banning my content. It's not pushed out there again. So that's part of the reason why the channel has been growing steady but slowly. So yeah, think about doing that. Links for everything's in the description. And uh, yeah. For those of you, the regulars, you subscribers, I appreciate all the support. I want to give a big shout out to all the brothers in the Telegram group. We got several guys that have arrived in the last two weeks. We got guys that are here on extended stays. And the friendships are real. And the brotherhood is real. And guys in there will tell you that joining the Telegram group, whether they've never been here or they've been here multiple times, was the best thing they've done for themselves. So keep that in mind. All right, it's your boy JC. Peace out.